Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, this video is very long overdue. We're going to be talking about how to get Mad Max badges fast. Obviously, this is not everybody's favorite part of the game, and it's not mine for sure. I do not like Mad Max at all, but I'm going to be telling you guys really the best sets to do for Mad Max badges, what kind of players are going to help you out with that, and all of that in this video today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Nate Sarver. Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out. There's a stat on YouTube that says about 80% of you guys that are watching my channel are not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. So, I'm going to reiterate that I do not like Madden Max at all. It's one of my least favorite things they've ever done with, like, really any Madden game or anything. I think it's, they, they messed up the progression of the game, so they're forced to do something like this, which really just makes the gap wider for me. I don't play gameplay, I don't do arena, I don't do overdrive, I don't do any of that, so this doesn't affect me with all the other people that have so many Max players and can spend all of those coins and all that money and everything like that but so for me I guess it doesn't really affect me but once again it's still not the greatest thing in the world I do not like Madden Max so there's a bunch of different ways to be able to get Madden Max badges there's a couple things up here there's some there's some things down here I'm gonna be telling you guys which one is worth it if you were to buy coins so to be able to max players all of the players that don't have 200 power um, let's see if they have Oh, well, these automatically have 200 power. Some of them, like uh, Deion Sanders, only has 50 power, so you have to trade in 30 Madden Max badges along with the Madden Max stamp. And then some of the newer cards, um, like especially the these players right here that already have the 100 power, you only need 25 badges. So it's a little bit easier for some of the cards than others. Obviously, we have the brand new Ezekiel Elliott and all of those players. We got some new cards and stuff today like that. Joe Burrow, I could do that if I wanted to, but I'm also not because Madden Max sucks. So... Um, and then also, if for example, let's say maybe you guys don't want to go for a Mad Max Master. There's always this set down here where maybe you either have a couple extra of these, you know, Mad Max badges and you can trade them in for this set. Or you just want to do this set and see if you can make profit or pull some card that you might want and everything like that. So this is kind of be talking, going to be talking about that. So Mad Max badges. Now, here's the biggest thing that I'm sure a lot of people make mistakes on. I made a mistake the first time ever buying cards for this. In these sets, especially the diamond sets, because those are going to be the uh, Evo players that you're looking for, Evo cards do not go in these sets. So all the cards that you see that are eligible for me to put in this set have the shield, not the diamond, the square, and the top right. It's going to be a shield. You cannot have Evo cards in these sets. They will not go. If you buy them off the auction house, they do not go in these sets. So that's the biggest thing to kind of note here. So there's two different levels of kind of Mad Max badge trades. Well, there's three. First of all, these two are by far the worst. All the other ones are under one mil at least. And 80 special, the trade-in, wow, makes it better. But down here for the 80 and the 85 plus trade-ins, those cost like almost 3 million coins if you were to buy everything, uh, you know, everything. So you can already tell that those cards, even like regardless of the Mad Max badges, those cards have no value and are not worth what their price minimum, their price floors are. But that's how the game is going right now. So never do those sets. I mean, I guess if you can't sell any players, I mean, I'm kind of in that boat too. I cannot sell all my players and I have a lot of extra players. And eventually I might have to trade them in for Mad Max badges or trade them in for something else. I'm not exactly sure what that might be. So do not do these sets. So they've had, they have these special offers. I guess you can do that once if you're really looking for that. That's a 100 power, 80 plus special trade-in. Then we have a couple of uh, collectible trade-ins. I definitely don't have enough. I've got some stuff. I've got a lot of movers luggage it looks like here, but uh, definitely not enough for a badge here. And then there's also the large collectible trade-in, which I don't know what counts as a large collectible. Obviously, I guess an Easter shield. Um, some uh, Team Heroes trophy stuff like that. But the players are really going to be the biggest thing. So there's two different levels. There's 70 power and 100 power. Obviously, recently, they with Man Max, they've introduced players with 100 power in the road of the draft. So that's where we're going to be getting all of our players from. These are generally going to be the best deals, but there are a few in the 70 power versions that are decent as well. So it can be 30 to 70 power, so pretty much any of the old players that you guys have. So don't do the first two sets. Those are not worth it. The 90 plus overall can be 40k. Um, 90 pluses. 90s. Another thing with this, you know, with the price floors and everything, uh, diamonds don't have price floors. So uh, 90s are cheaper than any of the 85s. So obviously never do this set. 
there's literally no reason to do that unless you have stuff that cannot sell. That's the only reason you can do that. I have a lot of diamonds right now that I probably need to try to sell. Oh my, yeah, I have a lot more than I really thought I did, but... So yeah, so you need 10 of these. Um, these generally can go. You can get these for a little bit cheaper. I would definitely say 350k. And this is with buy now. You can definitely do bid sniping too, which is a great method to get stuff cheaper. Um, rather than buying it right away, just wait a little bit, try to bid snipe, get the cards for a little bit cheaper. But um, yeah, so this can be really 400k. But the other two are really the money makers here, the 95 pluses and the 98 plus. You only need two of these, and these cards you can get for pretty cheap, probably like 150k a piece, something like that for about about 300k i said about because maybe you can get it for a little bit under that if you can get a good snipe something like that we'll check out the auction house here in a second um and then this one is kind of the same thing i have uh i need to sell off a of todd Gurley there 98s are about 300k too you might be able to snipe a little bit under you might have to spend a little bit over but around 300k for a man max badge right there now the 100 powers are probably going to be your best bet once again, the 80 plus and the 85 plus are not going to be really worth it. You're looking at spending about 800k per each of those Mad Max badges there. But these three sets are the ones that are going to make you your coins. Maybe not the 90 plus. The 90 plus, you need two of these players. And really the cheapest is like... I don't know, 190k, so in total you're going to be spending about 380k on this set, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, give or take a little bit. These two sets, though, are the big ones that are going to be probably the best ones. Maybe the, the 70 power 95s and 98s, so really all the 95s and 98s are going to be the biggest ones. So this 95, you can use one 99, a 95 plus, that's 100 power, and you can get two man max badges, you should get two of them. And then for the 98s, if you put one in here, 98 plus, that's 100 power. Power, you can get four man max badges so I based off some math and everything the both of these are going to be under 300k um, so that's going to be huge right there those are probably your best bets for getting man max badges so now let's check out the auction house and I will show you guys how this works so I will show you the ones that are really worth it the most so I'm going to show the 70 powers for the 95s and 98s and I'm going to show you the 100 power of the 90 95 and 98 so I would so, say those are the really the you know the the five I guess that are probably the most worth it so um Let's see, so let's start off with 70 power, 95 plus. So if we go, make sure it's not on this, make sure it's on 70 power, 95. So I said it can be about 300k, and as you can see, the biggest thing with this is you're going to get a lot of players that have... Uh, our evo and you do have to scroll so i i look for about 300k um for the 95 pluses sorry for the 95 pluses uh, about 150k you can get these cards for um obviously you're going to get a lot of evos in here which really makes it annoying because you have to scroll through all of them and everything like that and it's going to be the same thing with the 98s but as you can see there's a Corey littleton right here for 144k so two of those would be under 300k already um i mean there's there's tons of different things here i could all i could also f filter out qb because really it's the qbs obviously there's some other stuff it's all the nfl 100s really mainly on those kind of cards uh, there's a little tin again. Let's see where else we are at for these kind of cards. There's another little tin. There's a TJ Hawkinson. Um, you get the point. So um, you can really get these for under 300k. You just have to snipe a little bit. You have to scroll through a lot of stuff. Maybe you can get a nice scroll snipe if we scroll you know, towards that three hour mark, see 130k, 115k for this card, you can get a, see, this is huge, that's a huge snipe right there, there's a couple of these that are very, very cheap, um, even 96s and everything like that, 113, 115k, if you got two of those, you're making a Madden Max badge for a little bit over 200k, 250k, or 230k, whatever, so it's pretty huge right there, you can get those for pretty cheap, and it's the same things with 98s. 98, I'm going to filter out the QBs as well, even though that might take out a few positions. Um, I said this is about 300k because you do only need one of these. You can definitely find a few. Once again, you're going to get a lot of these NFL 100 players, a lot of those Evo players. But as you can see in Anthony Walker Jr., this gives you one. This is worth one man, ba uh, man max badge right here. So, you know, whatever you're buying this card for, these cards for is going to be the price that you're going to get your man max badge for. The 98 Ryan Urlacher right there. Um, there's a Melvin Gordon for 260k. That's a good price right there um but yeah so really sniping you can get these for under the prices so you know we saw some we could get mad max badges for 230k 250k 260k stuff like that so you really need to scroll and make sure you're getting the right price now for the 100 powers honestly 
they're probably going to be about the same because it's maybe a little bit harder to snipe these because they're not as frequent. I'm going to take put quarterbacks back on because because uh, there's really not a lot of Evo cards that are. I don't even know if there are any Evo cards that are 100 power. I really don't think there are. So um, really the ones that are worth it. Let's do the 100 power of the 90 pluses. Um, you do need two of these, I believe. So, like, two, if you look under 200k for these 90 pluses that are 100 power, you can see that it's mainly draft players. There's not even many there right now. So, I would honestly even go up to 400k for this. So, this is probably not the one you want to go for. But it might be easier to get those players because of that. And actually, I do want to mention something. Really, with pro packs, if you get two of the team of the year players out of the pro packs that you're not going to put on your team, throw them in here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Probably not right now, but eventually. Team of the year players can't be auctioned but they do go in this 95 set if you get two of them you can get a madden max badge which is pretty huge and there's going to be some events that give you some better stuff in draft you can get a lot of t you know some players with that if you want to spend your coins on or spend your players on madden max badges it's a good way to get madden max badges so i would say really unless you're getting them from the ma uh, live events and everything like that maybe don't go with that so really the 95s and the 98s are the one you're looking at so with the 95s you can trade in one player and you're gonna get gonna get two of them so if we look at like 525k i don't remember what i was looking at there are a couple almost 500k so this makes it almost like 200 almost like 250k maybe a little bit more that's why i wrote 260k if you're gonna buy one um but yeah no these are these are good prices there was one that was really cheap i saw uh i think one was 450k someone must have picked that up obviously but um, so you can get these for pretty cheap as well, probably 260k, you're looking at may like, you know, probably maximum 260k, there's not a lot of these that are popping up, maybe they'll eventually become more expensive, but these cards came out last night, they're the rest of the first rounds it looks like, um, and then there's the 98s, which are probably the easiest ones to do, because 98s give you 4 Madden Max badges, and their cheapest ones are about 1.15 million, maybe a little bit cheaper than that. So tier, I uh, accidentally reset everything. So 100, and as you can see, there's a Joe Burrow right there. He's going for the minimum. I made a big mistake. So um, really, you're seeing that the minimum of these, wow, this one just went up not too long ago. Um, so at if you buy them for 1.2 million, you're spending... Uh, 300k per man max badge if you buy them for 1.1 million you're spending 270k per man max badge obviously obviously if you're going to spend a little bit under it might be under that so honestly the 95s might be the best way this is definitely the fastest way because you can get four of them at the same time just there's a bunch of different ways so look kind of a kind of a recap mainly the ones you're going to want to do are going to be in the 100 power 95s or 98s the other ones that might be worth it are the 95 plus and 90, uh, 98 plus for the 70 power but really your best bet is going to be 100 power it's more simple it's cheaper really it gives you more mad max badges and yeah so you can use those mad max badges on if you want to max out your players to 105 or you can scroll down and do this evo redemption set which is still pretty fun if you're looking for to get some coins out of some stuff that might be unauctionable like team of the years or players that have been sitting on your bench for a while that's a good way to do it but anyways, guys, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV, and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.